Imagine getting lessons from your gorgeous, seductive boss on how to be a bad girl to get your crush to fall in love with you. And you guys end up much closer than you ever expected. Now that you guys are about to hook up and become closer than ever, a thorn in your side comes back and it is Giselle, the woman that we do not like. But let's see what Fora and Kate are going to do in this situation. This is How To Be Bad, chapter 10. And this is Laura Byron being all cute. He says hi. His Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like and let's go. What is she doing here? Wow, Giselle changed her outfit because we were both wearing red. What are you doing here? I came to apologize for my outburst at the restaurant. Looking like that? I was planning to stay the night after we made up. You can't just come into my bedroom unannounced and think that we're going to spend the night together. Who let you in? Your maid. I should have known that the shoes by the door weren't hers. I can't believe you ditched me to go home with her. Ah, oh my god. Um, you were the one who left me, remember? Wait, now you acting like you actually care? Okay. Because you were looking at her the whole night. I was, and do you know why? Because I want her. Aww. Finally. You're not my real girlfriend, Giselle. This is all fake. Please stop pretending that this is real. You're nothing more than a friend to me. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Let's just end the charade. This was obviously a bad idea. <gasps> oh my god. You're kidding, right? Ugh. There's no way we're breaking up. I'm not going to be a laughing stock in front of my followers. We're the perfect couple. You might not think it now, but I'm going to give you some time to come to your senses. <gasps> oh no, she's not giving up. Who does she think she is? It's about time I put my foot down. Put on a sassy show and make out with Cade. Say nothing. Oh, oh, it's not even for Cade. This is for Giselle. This is revenge for calling me a her. I hate to break it to you, but Cade was the one who made a move on me tonight. Oops. The way he pushed me up against the restaurant wall with his hungry burning eyes made me so weak. Then we shared the most passionate kiss I've ever experienced. It looked something like this. Here's a recap. Mmm. Oh my god, I will get you for this for Mark my words. Kate will be tired of you soon. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, whatever. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That was so awesome. What can I say? I can't stand that she's using you for her reputation. Didn't you say before that you didn't want any drama? Because I'm pretty sure you just created a civil war. I couldn't help myself. She always gets the worst out of me. Are you going to break up with her now after this? Yeah. When? Uh, I don't know. Wow. Wow. Kate, I don't want to keep doing this if you're together with her. Even if it's a fake relationship, it doesn't feel right. Bye. What are you doing? Are you going to go? Um... Are you saying that you want to end our agreement? Wait, so you were doing actually all of this because of the agreement. You don't actually care about us. I see. Yes, it's not working out. I need to think about it. I just need a break. Yes, it's not working out. It's not working out. I think it's for the best. All right, if that's what you want. It's not what I want at all. I'm just scared. But he obviously wants me. I suppose this is my chance to finally confess that I want more. I should tell him the truth and lay it all out on the table. Hide my true feelings and leave him. No, 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 no. We're going to speak our truth for once in this whole story. And then we're just going to probably leave because it's probably going to be a little embarrassing. But speaking your truth is never that embarrassing. Being cringy and embarrassing is embarrassing. I have a confession to make. What's that? The reason why I'm unsure about this thing between us is because I think I'm starting to fall for you. <gasps> oh my god. For real? Yeah, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you for a long time. I know that you don't feel the same way and that's why I think it's best to create some space between us. How do you know I don't feel the same way about you? Um, I just assumed. Also, you've said it a million times. Why would you assume something that ridiculous? Are you saying that you have feelings for me too? Maybe. I mean, I've been thinking about you quite a lot lately. I've got a confession to make too. I wanted to kiss you for a very long time. Really? How long have you wanted to kiss me for? Remember when you were late to a meeting, tripped and spilled coffee all over the table, ruining all the documents? How can I forget that? Obviously, I'm such a klutz. I was so embarrassed that day. I know, you hid behind your screen for the entire meeting. I thought you were adorable. But that was almost a year ago. I know. Are you actually blushing right now? Fora, I don't want whatever this is to end. Maybe we can forget about what happened tonight. I really don't want this to end either now without a kiss at least. I should live my desires and kiss him. Let him passionately kiss me. I'm gonna kiss him. It's on my terms. I confess first. His scent was intoxicating. I couldn't help but cave in and kiss him. It took every fiber of my being to not fall further into this bliss. I'll see you tomorrow at work. Where are you going? Home. I'm going to give you some time to miss me. But don't miss me too much. That woman. She'll be the end of me. What should I wear today? Cute. Cute. 
Ooh, super cute. Love this. This is so me. Are you sure you want to wear this outfit? Yeah. Oh my God. They're together. Oh, have either of you seen Vora? Yeah, she took a coffee break about 10 minutes ago. She's in the lounge. Thanks, Camden. Thanks. What do you want to talk to her about? Wow, what business is it of yours? I believe that's between Miss Prescott and me. Excuse you? Right, right. Maybe he's finally come to his senses and decided to fire her. I'm pretty sure that's not it. Wow, everything about her is just perfect. There I am, being perfect. Except for that cup she's holding. Oh, I love his jealous side. I wonder if she'd get upset if someone accidentally dropped it. Accidentally, you say? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mr. Reed. Hi. You've got dark circles under your eyes. Did you sleep at all last night? You're kidding me, right? Um, no. You were right. About what? About what? That I was going to miss you. Ah, cheese ball. You're so romantic. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I was so close to getting in my car and knocking on your door, but you didn't. Me too. We probably should talk about this arrangement before we do anything. Stop calling it an arrangement. The arrangement was for you to seduce Camden. That, that's over with. Fine, will you be able to resist me until then? Of course. Are you sure about that? Wow, you're that irresistible? Um, <clears throat> oh, hey, Joey. I was just telling her about our next meeting. Mm-hmm. And I was born yesterday. I have a meeting now, but I'm free in an hour. Do you want to come by my office? I might swing by. I'll be there early. You will not be there early. You're going to swing by. I might swing by. Good. <sighs> okay, what was that? Exactly, Joey. Exactly. He wanted me to come to his office. Something is going on with you two. That's why you didn't text me back last night. You went home with him, didn't you? Maybe. Ah, uh, wow. I knew it. Knew what? that you're nosy Ugh. let's talk about this later i want to know everything good luck in mr reed's office later <laughs> wow this is like the third time he wants to see you in his office he hates you he really isn't happy with you huh <laughs> oh kendall if only kendall knew come in Hey, Camden, what can I help you with? Kendall keeps bugging me when I'm trying to work. Could I work in here for a while? Oh, I see how it is. Did you not leave Kendall on? Of course, there's more than enough space in here. That's what I thought. Thanks. I won't bother you, I promise. Sure you won't. Like, you're not curious to know about us. Camden! Camden, where did you go? Oh, oh my God, hide me. <laughs> oh, you. She's been like that all day long. She's followed me to the bathroom. She seems to like you. Isn't that great? Great? It's a nightmare. I thought you and Kendall were a thing. I heard you ask her out a few days ago. What's up with that? Yeah, I took her for a drink, but we didn't have any chemistry. I'm pretty sure she only went out with me to make Mr. Reed jealous. Yeah, same here, dude. Every time he walks by, she starts fiddling with her hair and doing all kinds of lame stuff. And like me, right? Like... Right? <laughs> I believe that. She's been drooling over him for a year. Just like he's been drooling over me. How about you? Are you dating someone right now? It's complicated. I'm single as a Pringle. I'm gonna say it's complicated. I'm kind of involved with this guy, but it's complicated. So it's not serious then, between you and this guy? No, I'm not even sure we're dating, honestly speaking. So you're free to date someone else then? Why are you asking me these questions? I'm asking because I'd like to take you out sometime. <gasps> Seriously? Hey, you didn't come to my office, so I thought I'd come to yours. But I see that you already have company. Let me know about that date, okay? I'd really like to take you out. Oh my god, he's so amazing. I love Camden for this. I love him. Not only did he, you know, show Kate that I'm a wanted Pringle, but that also he asked me on a date. Like, he asked me. I didn't ask him. Huh. Okay. Curious. Camden asked you out? Uh, yeah. Huh. Well, how do you feel about that? I feel very conflicted. I'm shocked I wasn't expecting that. It was about time he noticed me. I'm gonna say, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I was not expecting him to ask me out. This is what you wanted all along, right? Yeah, but... I have a meeting, so I have to go, but I'm happy for you. Wow, did I not tell you that I'm kind of falling for you yesterday? And we almost hooked up. And... I agreed to go to your office and we were gonna talk about our arrangement and you're just gonna give up on me like that? Fine, be that way. Crazy chapter, you guys. There's only two chapters left. Stay on the edge of your seat like I am and I will be updating every single day and we will finish this amazing, crazy, embarrassing, cringeworthy story because I am obsessed with it. It's one of my favorites so far, Fora. Oh, you Fora. You buried your way into my heart and tripped in there. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>